Great. First of all, everyone, welcome to this session. And it's almost 9.30 and you were able to actually, <laughs> the session was ongoing because we just finished the mastermind session, right, Isona? And now we are starting with you guys. Uh, were you some of you present uh, during the ending last half an hour? I could see uh, Archana was there, uh, Somu was there, Pratesh was there. Were you there? Did you join at 9 sharp and did you uh, see the ending and were you completely there here? For the last half an hour, who, who all were there? I just want to know. Anandita, Arshana, Pradesh. So, okay, great, great. So uh, we were supposed to start at 9 and now it's 9.30. So we'll start now for the next 30 to 45 minutes. I think posted in the group already that you should pre-arrange your questions. Are your questions ready? So how we will go is uh, everybody is... Uh, not on the session today. So th those who are on the session today, only live right now, we get their questions answered. Those who are not present, we will not able to take their questions. Like some people, like uh, some people have messaged me that they will not be able to join. So we'll not be taking their questions one by one. We'll take your questions. Uh, you can uh, post your question one by one in the, uh, I think there's no Q&A box because there's a meeting. So in the chat, Vishal will ask you, then you'll post your question and then we'll post your answer one by one, we will go. Uh, I, I recommend that you have only one to two questions. Don't ask too many questions. If they're in the same direction, you can ask them together. If they're different directions, you can ask one by one also. That's how we'll wrap up for this session. So we have Anand, Archana, Anindita, Pallavi, Pratesh, Sai, Somo, Subish. Welcome to the session, everyone. Uh, is everyone's question ready? Just type Y in the chat box if your questions are ready. If there's anyone who's not uh, prepared this session, a question yet, just type it in the chat box. Type Y if your questions are ready in the chat box. Anita, your question is ready. Okay, Y. Archana, okay. Everyone else? Quickly, quickly, quickly. Michelle will be here and we have to start the session. Is your question ready? Pritesh, is your question ready? Somu, are your questions ready? Okay. Asked you to type, you didn't type. Pritesh, what happened? Can you hear me? Okay, thank you. You're not a student, you don't have to. <laughs> it's nice. So first, uh, I just uh, wanted to ask you, Andita, Archana, Pritesh, you were there in the ending of the mastermind session here, so you got a little bit of sneak peek, which is fine. How did you feel uh, to be a part of that? Andita, if you can unmute and just share with Yeah, you. I feel uh, motivated and positive hearing all their... Uh... Uh, like wins uh, for the past week, like everybody was having separate kind of win and it was kind of motivating, encouraging and positive for me. So I was thinking back in the mind, it was going, when will I join and I will <laughs> be a part of the same team and when will I be having these uh, big wins? Definitely you will be having Aminita, that's for sure because I know you are a very sincere person. If you are chosen and if you follow the process, definitely you will be. But so everyone come on video, huh? Uh, that we present, so we present now, and when you're, you you feel encouraged, you motivated, you feel motivated. That's great. Pitesh, how did you feel to be in the to be able to be a part of the mastermind session as well? Yeah. I felt like uh, everybody was very confident. I mean, yes. I mean, uh, they were sharing the wins and uh, sharing wins with each other and learning from each other. So it's a good uh, networking and uh, environment. And it's a really motivating for them to uh, continue the continue to perform this uh, kind of uh, assignment and task and all. Yes, yes. It's a very important point you said, Pratesh, that they are uh, looking very confident. So this is not only because of speech techniques and speech practices. It is an internal confidence that sign, you know, shines when they're speaking. So when you are at that level, you're playing with a uh, you know very focused and energetic folk play in a different level so that also comes from there and th that does not happen in uh, some months it takes a lot of time and you will get yeah. at this point uh, the other thing is that it's uh, something because I just came from the session that's very fresh in my mind everybody also encourages uh, so those who have filled the mastermind activity inform you know that there's a question uh, uh, about how you can add value to the yeah. Yeah. group 
So it is not only about what you're taking from the group. It is also about what you are bringing, who you are as a person and what you are bringing to the group. Because when you are elevated and you bring that kind of vibe into the group, it, it, it amplifies what you learn. Absolutely. So that, that is why Vishal is so selected. So Vishal, yeah. awesome. are, you are you starting the session quickly? Yeah, we are starting. We'll, we'll just Q&A. So I know Subish, I think you mentioned his... Uh... No, uh, his wife clinic. has ear pain and he's actually at the clinic. And so, you know why? The session and so, we started speaking a lot. <laughs> so, so, Subish's wife got some ear pain. <laughs> that's, huh? that's Subish, if you're hearing funny. that, yeah, that's really yeah. funny. he's there in the session, but he's uh, he's and off video. Uh, he's hearing Yusuf is also not joining us today. He uh, said he could not join us. So, those are the no two. problem. No problem. No problem. So today is today is a QA session. So anytime somebody has a question, we'll answer for about half an hour, 45 minutes. I'm not very well today. So that's the reason. Took a little time to finish the previous session. So yeah. Um, who who has a question, first of all? And specifically, uh, raise your hand. Who has a question? Okay, Archana, then Anandita. Archana, go for it. Uh, hi, Vishal. Hi, Anupama. Hello. Hi, everybody. Archana, the public speaker, go for it. Yes. What's your question? Yes. Uh, well, I have uh, two questions. Uh, one is which I uh, spoke about in the audio only that day was about uh, consistency. Mm. So you asked me to uh, raise that question today. Mm -hmm. So it's it's like, uh, you know, I, I start something and uh, that time my momentum is very high. But again, sometimes I lose it. Uh, I go I go off the track. Then again, I have to pull myself to come on the track. And then that cycle continues. Okay. So how do Give I some, get out of that? I'll be happy to help you with that. But before that, what are some of the areas in your life where it's happening? Like specific examples? Can you, can uh, you, yes. Can you a specific that? example is like health. Um, mm -hmm. Like to be very frank, after like post delivery, my weight was 75 kgs. How, and, how, long, uh, how long ago was that? Uh, it was uh, one year, like okay, yeah. uh, not not one year, like now it's been now four years. Okay. Well, that's a big gap. One year, yeah, four years. Gap. You can't make. Yes. No, no. One year, one point two years. You can say one year, four years. Like that's a big mistake. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Four years. So, okay. uh, so it was seventy five, and uh, I lost it in like eight months. I lost twenty kgs, twenty to twenty five kgs. I I came wow. back to fifty five. Uh, and uh, then I was maintaining that weight for like uh, uh, like uh, another one year. And then I again started putting on some weight. Now, again, I have to go back to my original, what I was like, whatever I was following my diet and exercise routine, but I'm not able to take that action. Sometimes I do it. Then sometimes a uh, lot of other distractions comes in. Then I lose that track. Mm. How do I do it? If it's a weight loss question, Anupama is more uh, qualified to answer that. But no, from but, and I, I, yeah, hmm. absolutely. But uh, this is also in terms of my speaking as well. That's okay. Yeah. So, like, if suppose okay. I start something with, uh, uh, like, if I start practicing this uh, poser technique, for example, I do it for a couple of uh, days. Then again, I stop doing that. Then again, I, I I say to myself, no, again, I have to get back to that technique. So I'm not able to do it on a consistent basis. See, I understand. I'll I'll start answering. Then tell me how much you understand, and if I, if not, I'll do it. like because today is not a training call. It's question answer. And I'm happy to answer everybody's question. That so we'll okay. do like this. And plus, I'm I don't want to sound too high because. I have a little pain in the chest when I'm talking. So I'm speaking lower. That's, that's the reason. I hope you understand. So the first thing about consistency is it has to become your identity, not just a habit. Consistency is an identity, not a habit. So what I mean by that is when I start something, for example, when I start a habit, uh, including, um, let's say it's a specific diet that I'm on right now, I also fall off track. Okay. Uh, everybody falls off track. If anybody is not falling off track, they're lying. Simply. Everybody falls off track. It's how soon you can get back on track. Hmm. I'll give an example. So let's say um, you, know, you start 
walking every day. Let's say a habit. We've talked about health. So let's say you start walking every day or you say that, you know, I'm not able to go out because of certain rules in my area right now. So I'll go to the terrace and walk in the morning, half an hour. So what, what happens is on day one, you're very excited. I'm going to wake up, I'm going to wake up. And then day two comes, right? And then day three comes. And then your kid comes on day four uh, in front of you. And, and then things start going off track. And then before you know, it's been three months because you're waiting for 30 minutes of walking. At that, so the, the rule, first rule of consistency is the moment you see you're going off track, you look for two things. Lower the standard for first three, four days. And second is get somebody to hold you accountable immediately. And that somebody can never be your life partner or anybody from your family. Why? Because they are going to be biased. Are Archana, it's fine. You did not get sleep properly. It's okay for you to not do it tomorrow. You know, you get those sympathy. That doesn't help. Exactly. You understand, right? So, for example, if I'm a personal trainer and if, if uh, Anand wants to lift weights, and when Anand is doing something and he's trying, if I take some weights off, I'm not helping Anand. I'm hurting Anand by taking, making it easy for him. Anand, you're getting it? If I make it easy for you, I'm hurting you. In the moment, Anand feels good or it feels lighter, but he's not going to get the strength. So you need somebody who lovingly can care for you. That's the first thing. Second thing is, the moment you are going off track, lower. Go from 30 minutes a day to 5 minutes a day. Say, I'll not, I'll not stop. 30 minutes, I can't go. 45 minutes, I can't go. I'll do for five minutes. So what I want you to do from now is, this is, a, this is one thing I learned from Jerry Seinfeld, world's one of the most popular comedian in the world. So he had a calendar like this, you know, in his uh, like seven days or whatever. It's like a monthly calendar like this. Okay. okay. So day one, day two, day three, like day 30, you know. And mm -hmm. every single day he did it, you know, you'd, you'd, you'd cross it. And his goal, his goal, Jerry Seinfeld's goal, Danilita, was not to be a great comedian. His goal was, I'll write one joke a day. And he said that, I know that as long as I never break the chain, I'll become the greatest comedian in the world because of the, of the power of consistency. And even today, until today, he has never broken that chain because he took a small goal, one joke a day. So for you, what's your technique? Maybe you're thinking, I have to be, give the great speech. No, well, how about five minutes of practice every single day, no matter what you do. I do that even today. So, so take a small something and then repeat it no matter what. Take this Jerry Seinfeld technique and every single day you do it, cross, cross, or right, right, or yes, yes, no matter what you do. But by doing it, you know, on and it, it should not be inside a journal. It should be on a wall somewhere that you can see if this. It has to be visually, you know, reminding you that I'm in the bathroom or in the bedroom where you can easily see. It should not be inside a Word document in the laptop. It should not be inside a diary because you tend to forget that. So that's the, that's the first thing. So I walk every single day, no matter what. I do some hit exercises, no matter what. Even today, I did that in the afternoon. Even I had fever. At times, I, I don't do maybe twice in twice in a month, but because I really am busy sometimes, like I wake up and I can't do it. So twice a month, I forget. Um, but apart from that, I, I make it up next day by walking double. But understand when it comes to consistency, if I do not drink one liter of water every single day, I cannot have 30 liters of water on 30th day and say that I had a lot of water. I'm going to die that day, you yeah. know? Um, I'll not even have the time to pee. Uh, I'll die before that if I have 30 liters of water. The, what I'm talking about is you know, that you have to not be the rock. Take this metaphor as an example. You have to be the drop of water in the rock. Top, top. And if it falls over and over again, the biggest rock in the world will divide because of the power of consistency of that small drop of water. There has never been a day when you did not get the daily mentor at 9.45 in the morning. Rain or shine, strike or not, India wins or not, I'm sick or not, 9.45 a.m., it hits your email inbox for everybody. That's power of consistency. And when I do that over and over again, it gives me more power, more leverage. Um, so take smaller goal and surround yourself with people where you're, you know, if you go out of track, it will not be tolerated in a loving way. Uh, they will hold you. They will pull your collar. Find people like that. Um, that can help you. Does that give you some idea? I want to hear from you. What, what are you getting out of it yes, so far? Yes. Yes, Vishal. I mean, uh, the technique that you have shared with me, day one to day 30. This is really yeah. simple, but uh, I think this is going to be an accountable for me. 
Like yeah. I have to follow that. And the final thing about consistency that I want to leave you with is, um, you know, the whole concept about self-sabotaging. Do you understand what the word means? Yes. What, what do you think? What does it mean to you? Uh, sabotaging means, uh, you know, like hurting yourself. Hurting yourself. Yeah. Put, keeping yourself stuck. Yeah. yeah so yeah. if I put the accelerator and brake on, accelerator in a car and also brake on, boom, boom, but the car is not going ahead. Mm. The petrol will be finished. Exactly. You know, distractions will like that it will happen in the car. Too. So the petrol will go off and very soon the engine will stop working. Most people start a consistency habit, but because they, they self-sabotage because they don't, they don't, the moment they get a little bit of success, they become too satisfied. They become too satisfied. No, do you get what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. they, they become too satisfied. Like, oh, I, I just did it for seven days. Like, the standard has to increase, Anand. Well, maybe the standard has to increase for all of us. The standard of, like, imagine if Michael Jordan came to practice and he practiced for 30 minutes and if he came to the coach and said, how did I do? The coach will be, he did what? Right? Like, you practice for 30 minutes. Like, what, what are you talking about here? The standard is very high there. So low performance will not be tolerated there. How we do is, I'll wake up at five. I'll, I'll walk. I'll meditate. And the moment we do it for three, four days, we feel like, oh, I am Tony Robbins. Or I'm, I can talk about, you know, certain things like Sadhguru. No, we, like, you know, we need years and years of consistency before we open our mouth to talk about something. And this is not necessarily you, but I, I see a lot of people sometimes, uh, Archana, where, you know, they do it for a few days and they start lecturing about it to, to, to other people. Oh, you should wake up. And how many did you, how many days did you do it for? Oh, four days. Dude, you have no right to talk about it here. Like, can you imagine somebody going to a medical school for four days and calling himself a doctor? No, you, you study for an intense amount of time. So what I'm talking about is look at your life. Uh, Archana and ask yourself, what are the things I want to be known for? Not professional wise. What are the habits I want to be known for? Mm -hmm. uh, three years from now. Okay. Not 30 days from now. Three years from now, what are the top habits? Let me ask you, what, what are some of the habits that you want people to say that Archana is really good at X, 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 X? What are those some of those things for you? Okay. So number one thing is health because I I know that I have uh, reduced from seventy five to fifty five. I have that success story, and uh, uh, you know like that was a uh, like amazing thing for people to when I mean, people perceived me in that way that when she mm -hmm. decides she do that. So one is health. Second. Yes. Uh, second is that uh, is about my child uh, because. Uh, I'm not teaching him anything, but he passively is learning so many things from me. So I want to create that legacy because that day when I had one session and I was uh, completely exhausted, but I have to show up on time. And I was just speaking to my son and he just said one line to me, which was uh, very surprising for me. I was saying that I don't know whether I, how I'm going to speak today because I'm not prepared also or nothing like that. And he said mm -hmm. me only one line that, Mama, you are a best speaker. Wow. Yes, he said to me this. He's just five years now. He completed in this uh, July. So mm -hmm. I was like, I, do you think really Mama is best speaker? He said to me, yes, Mama, you are a best speaker. And that gave me a lot of confidence that, uh, you know, wow. that is what I'm creating for my son. Mm -hmm. So the second okay. thing that I want to do in my life is this one. Okay. Third. Uh, third, uh, I want to be a powerful communicator because mm. uh, initially what I used to do is that I used to validate for many things. Like whether people are liking me or not. Like will they like my idea or not. Even in my personal life also. If I'm communi communicating to somebody, uh, this is my idea. I used to think more of like, if they will like this, then it is okay. I want to stop doing that. Okay. It's like, so I want to leave it on my own terms, whether you like it or not, but this is what I feel. Okay. Three things. So health, I want to be a better example to my son. Yeah. And I want to be a powerful communicator. So now here is a question that average people do not ask. Ready? Okay. 
what three habits can I pick up that I can do every single day for the next 10 years that will fulfill these three things that I spoke about now? Not next, seven days, 10 years. Next 10 years. To take a habit, yes. So health, what one thing in health can you do every single day for 10 years without breaking that? See, that's the way to think. Uh, yes, I can uh, start exercising for uh, like 30 minutes I can do. Take 10 minutes. That's the mistake many people do. So, so tomorrow you don't get 30 minutes and then, you know, that, that chain will break. Take small time first, 10 minutes, 12, okay. 15, increase later on. I know you can do 30 minutes. The problem you have done 30 minutes before, but you have broken the chain many, many times. 10 minutes is easy to do. Increase the consistency before increasing the frequency. Yes. First, increase the consistency. Then, then you will go 30 minutes one day. Then you will do many things apart from you can add that. I'll also have this specific diet. I'll add some fruit. I'll add some what add later. First, start to start small. Okay. Um, I'm going to tell you something that many people don't talk about. Guys, is that helpful to all of you or, or just uh, or are you guys getting something out of it? Think bigger than most people. Act smaller than most people. Most people think smaller than other people and they act big on day one and then they fail. The way these people inside our mastermind, they get so, such great results it's because they take the baby steps. And every single week, no matter what we ask them, what was your biggest win? Anupama, right? What was your biggest win? And we don't ask them once in a quarter. Every week we count. And every week, if somebody is, did not share enough win, you know what happens? We message them. Hey, what happened last week? Talk to us about it. You know, where do you need some help? Because, because that's the power of consistency. So, so health, take one. Speaking, what practice can you do every single day in speaking? You have learned many techniques in our program so far. Pick one. Pick a time. Remember this. Time has memory and place has energy. Time has memory, place has energy. So I do a specific practice every single day at a particular place if I'm, if I'm at my home. Uh, I do my king of mind process exactly at the couch. You know, some of you have seen that cat, right? In, in, in that sofa. So I sit somewhere there. I have a specific space. So when the time hits, you know, I have a Google calendar notification on my phone all the time. I don't have to think now, where do I go? Where do I go here? Do I go there? So, I mean, uh, so Archana, you pick a place. This 30 minutes of walking or 10 minutes of walking will I do on terrace outside at home, treadmill, where and when, where and when. And, and then um, this you know, the communication practices, how long, when, how long, and where, which room. If you say wherever I feel like, you will not feel like doing it when you're not feeling like doing it because you'll feel lazy sometimes. But if you have a, you know, if you have a specific place that it will change the game. So these are some of the things that, that I think are foundation for consistency. Is that helpful to you, Archana, so far? Yes, absolutely. So much helpful, Bishal. How, how long I, has I it, really have you been? I really loved uh, the way you said about like think bigger than most people and uh, mm -hmm. act smaller than most people. This is yeah. uh, really powerful. Thank you yeah. for sharing yeah. this. And um, yeah, how long have you been struggling with consistency problems so far? How many years has it been? Like five, 10, how long? Yeah, yeah, almost like now four to five years, yeah. Four to five years, yeah. Yes. And we solved it in, in a couple of minutes and now you have to just yes. do it. Yes. So you have to do it, okay, cool. We'll go to the next question now. And the final thought for everybody that is coming to my mind, because like I said, today is not a training session, it's a QA and a that we're doing just for you guys is, you know, a lot of people talk about dreaming big, uh, like dream big, dream big. A guy, one of my roommates back in the days when I was really struggling in my life and career, we were shared the room and he told me, his name was Siddharth. And um, he told me a line, he was very tall kind of a guy. Uh, we're not in touch anymore. I don't even have his phone number, but he told me one line one, one night you know, I had a big vision board inside that room. I remember with all the photos of the people that I really wanted to learn a lot from. Uh, and he told me, Vishal, remember, uh, it's not about how big you can dream. It's about how long you can dream big. Mm -hmm. uh, is anybody can say, uh, go for $50 million. Yeah, but how long? Like then, then reality happens, right? You get what I'm talking about? So any goal is fine as long as you can dream it for a longer time and then move toward it. As long as you're moving toward it, it it's good for everybody. So I know Anandita has a dream, for example, of starting a business. So she can have a big dream suddenly and then in three years she can quit, which is what most people do. 
or she can have that dream, feed the dream, nurture the dream, nourish the dream, water the dream, add skill to that dream, add, add mindset to the dream and make it a reality and becomes a tree. Um, that's, how it, that's how it happens. Okay, I'm gonna move to the next person. Who has the, quickly, a few more minutes. Who has the next question? Oh, Arindita said, sorry. And Aprita shall come to this after this. Arindita, I think you already did send for this. Yeah. Go for it. Uh, no problem. I wanted to ask the same question. Like after going through the wealth formula video, like it has been bugging me since long. Like you said, uh, do I have 10 streams of income and that I'm not having a proper clarity. Like where do I start and how do I start? So, and that right. is continuously occupying my memory space. So I'm, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, but I'm not able to get to any conclusion on how to start. So how do I get clarity on that part? So I think you scheduled a call with me on, yeah. on Tuesday. Monday. Oh, Monday. Yeah. Um, in Elite, we'll, I'll help you uh, do that. But let me, let me give you a mindset shift right now. You can't go from one to 10 without going through the two and three before that. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Between one and ten, there is two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten. So what I'm talking about is before the ten stream, there has there has to be a second stream of income. If you have only one, if you have two, there has to be the third stream of income. It has to be small uh, in the beginning. So, for example, you have a lot of ideas, right, about business, about this, that, that, that you've been thinking about it, but you haven't taken action on that. So first of all, one of the things we'll do is, if you get selected for elite, which we haven't discussed yet, so I'm not making any promise right now, um, but. You know, what is one thing you can start in this first six months that will give you an immediate confidence level as a second stream of income, if that's something to, that you want? Um, you, like I said, you're not going to go from one to 10. You're going to go from one to three for in, in that linear fashion. So that is one thing. Uh, we, we have to find your, your unique skills and what you love doing. We'll find your purpose. I need to understand this. If the train is going in the wrong track, going faster will take him, take the train to the wrong destination faster. Yes. So first we find what is the right destination for what's your ideal lifestyle, which I don't know about yet. We'll, we'll clarify those things, ideal lifestyle, ideal income, three years from now, five years from now. And then we reverse engineer. Anytime Anandita, you think from your current version, you'll always be confused. But you think from the future version, five years from now, what, what, how many streams of income do I want? We need the clarity on that. Like how much time I want to spend with my parents? How much time you, know, you want to spend with your, with your partner? What kind of a lifestyle that you want? Um, how much money you want to contribute and give? Uh, do you want to do a blood, blood camp just like you know, Karchana is doing? Oh, sorry, um, Kalpana okay. is doing? Or you know, you, what do you want to do? What are the things? And then we backtrack it. You, we reverse engineer um, based on that, right? So think about it. If I go to a world-class coach, like an athletics coach, and if I say, I want to I wanna win the context, contest, he's not going to put me in, in a routine. He's going to say, which contest, contest are you talking about? Is that the archery? Is that the walk? Is that the run? Because everything has a different path. How Neeraj yeah. Chopra trained is not how you know, Deepika Kumar, Kumari trained. There, there, there are some similarities, but there is a different path altogether based on where they wanted to be at the end of the competition. So we find the goal and we reverse engineer based on that. And that's why it's not a generic answer that I can give you. The wealth method, which is the word, the, word, the mindset, the, what was the E? Envision the paradise, if you remember the E, yeah. right? So that's why envisioning the paradise is so important and, and making it a real thing, not like a unrealistic goal that you don't even believe in. I know a lot of people who put you know, Elon Musk's photo on their phone screen paper, um, but year after year, their income is not increasing. The, because they think just by thinking positive or thinking this, that the life will change. It won't. I remember I went to a friend's house one day a quick story for you, Anita, is who that friend is, is, is not important. I went to his home and on the wall, many years ago, on that wall, I think the month was about October or November. I forgot that. You know, there are a lot of tables on the wall, like, you know, the, the rows and columns from January, February, March, April. And it went until December, but we are in October month now. Are you clear so far? Yeah, but it's not yeah. a calendar. It's not a normal calendar. He put it like with pen, with scale, you know, he drew the lines. And at the end, it was written, he wanted to have 100 crore rupees income by 31st December. Okay. So, so I looked at it and I asked him, man, this is, this is inspiring. He said, yeah, I said, you know, it's 21st October. What's the number until now? 
and it was less than 3 lakhs rupees okay was there any possibility he was going to hit that 100 crore rupees in 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 two and a half months no no but he said we shall be positive i said all right see you on first jan here is why the reason why why i'm sharing this is because there is dream and there is practicality anybody can think big and think this but practically we have to create the second stream of income the smallest i'll tell you anindita when you have a second stream of income if you don't and you make 1000 rupees from the second income your body language will change that day you know how you'll walk in the room walk into your home when you tell your father whether he understands the second stream of income value or not i, I don't know and what i'm saying is you know your your confidence will increase to to another level because and then the third happens and the numbers increase uh my first coaching fee i charge 5 crore rupees these days for one on one consulting and that's a very high level i understand that my first coaching fee anindita back in the days was 1500 rupees for 10 sessions one on one when i first started 1500 for 10 sessions the day i got the first check the guy wrote me a check of 450 net rupees the way i walked into the state bank of india you should have seen me that day with the check in the right hand my swag was different okay my when i put the 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 check to the counter and and the guy on the other side of the counter is looking at me like who's this weirdo i'm like yeah i just got paid and you know i am counting the 100 rupees notes over and over again thinking it will become 16 or 17 notes it was only 15 notes i'm counting over and over again and when i put the note inside my shirt pocket that day my chest at that time when i was coming out is like i am like you know like a like a bollywood hero why am i sharing this i have made a lot of money but i can't forget the first day you know can't forget the first time so in the when you make the first one it it can change for you so you have to be con- so three few things i want to say is number one we have to find your to the whiteboard thing acha let me erase this hold on a second so we have to find first of all your his do you know what a, what what his is no high income skill Okay. so we have to find your high income skills what are the high income skills that you have or that you can create in order for you to earn that level of income that you want to create make sense so far are you getting what i'm talking yeah, about yeah yeah do you have clarity on this on 0 to 10 how how confident are you about your high income skills now like i have to figure out which are those skills first and then okay okay what are your top skills in life like right now so i i am a tech savvy person like i like technology okay. and uh, uh, then i have interest in clothes and all mm-hmm. uh, what skills. else uh, i i like talking to people like i i like going out with people mm-hmm. okay so that you know technical skill and, is one yeah skills mm-hmm. i i like even if i don't know anything i i like upgrading my skills i like learning from time to time so here so, are some examples of of high income skills i'm writing for you okay so first is leadership the second one is effortless persuasion third is can be a uh, new age executive executive presentation uh skills and the fourth one could be the powerful negotiation skills when i say negotiation i'm talking about like millions of dollars of skills these are skills that uh and also you know there can be technical skills too but these are some of the high income skills that we work on um inside elite the the reason for that is when you have the skills you know uh, anindita money is no longer a concern for people after that no matter what the career is for you um so leadership skills when i say leadership i don't mean just being a team leader i mean really being a leader who can lead a movement you know effortless persuasion very persuade people like effortlessly they convince you um new age executive presentation skills just like the new way of communicating in a way that is so dramatic that people say i don't know who anindita is but I I I wish I can be her team member. I wish she could make me like an employee in her company. And the powerful negotiation skills, like this is the boss level skills when you walk into a room 
you know, you have a confidence that you can walk out with a $10 million check if that's the kind of thing that you do. You get what I'm talking about? So yes. this is of the high income skills. So that's the first thing to develop is the uh, high income skills. Um, the, the second one for the, you know, the, that money, you know, different income streams is understand your income models. Um, I don't know if you're there, but Palash was, sh- were you there when Palash was sharing yeah, his yeah. last week's week? And he was talking about something called money map. Do you remember? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, money map is one of the things we give inside our elite program. So there are different kinds of income models. There is, mo- most people think this, okay, salary and passive income. That's how most people think. That's not it. There is the, you know, big paydays. <sighs> See, I can talk hours about it. I'm just giving you a synopsis for quickly. Uh, there is the automated automatic recurring system. Um, see, for example, recurring income, pa- salaries are recurring income, Anindita, right? But if yeah. you stop work for a year, will it give you income? No. So it is not automatic. It's a, it's an active recurring income. We have to create an automatic recurring system for yourself, right? And then the third thing is what we call a massive, passive, scalable income system. So these are different ways. Again, it, it might be a little difficult for you because you haven't thought like this. Anilita. Am I uh, somewhat yeah. accurate about it? Yeah. So these are some of the things. So high income skill, income model. And the third is what you require is money confidence. Money confidence, you know, uh, confidence about your ability to like, hey, uh, you know, can you imagine what, what is money confidence? It's mm-hmm. like you're asking for a $10 million deal as if you're asking for a water bottle. Can you pass me the water? Okay. $10 million, you want to do it? Like, like that is, you understand? It's the money confidence. It's not a big deal at all. And that, that request, if you remember last time, I think you were also invited uh, with, with everybody here for the um, wealth, um, you know, the nine questions that wealthy people ask. We spoke yeah. about the money beliefs, subconscious money beliefs. Those money beliefs that you have taken from your parents without your knowledge, without their knowledge, they are affecting you. They are the 98% subconscious mind that is working all the time, no matter what you, what, how much you want to do. That has to be removed before a new, new has to come. So the Kishore Kumar song, for example, the CD has to go out of the DVD player or CD player. If you want to put a new Rafi song, that so two CDs cannot play at once. One CD has to go out. So the, um, or, or anything you want to change. So these are the three things. Maybe you want to take a quick screenshot. So, yeah, yeah, please. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, done. So these are some of the things we work on uh, also there. But yeah. Does that give you some clarity? I want to hear from you before moving on. Uh, yes, yes, it does. What's your biggest, what's your biggest takeaway from this? We just have five, 10 minutes. So please share. So how you explain me like uh, how high income skills does matter in this, uh, 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 like uh, setting up uh, various uh, incomes, uh, high income skills has a very important role to play and the income models that you talked about, the money map, uh, the big pay days and the automatic recurring system. I didn't have any knowledge about this recurring automatic okay. recurring system. And I, I got to know about these new terms and I got to know about this HIS too. So it's a very new thing for me and I learned today. Is that and scary about, or exciting for you? And also about the money confidence. It's a very new thing for me. Like I, I didn't think in this way previously, but now we yeah, are going forward. I'll be thinking, I'll be thinking in this way. Okay. Now it's not Perfect. a scary thing. Like I'm ready to learn all these things. No, not a yeah. problem. You know what is scary? No. What is scary? not learning it? Not learning it. Okay. Do you get it? Not making money is not hard. You know what is hard? Not making enough money. Financial freedom isn't hard. Not financial slavery is hard. So you will also see some people who make big promises online, like you know, he is how to make one crore rupees in five days or three, 30 days or you know, 90 days and stuff. And you can see their ad before all videos, which is all good. Uh, you you have to know Anindita what is the real and not, and only you can decide. You know. Who, who are the real experts and who are not. So I think it's important for us to be also wary of, uh, you know, people making big claims um, online. 
because right now you can see a couple of years ago, it was all about network marketing. Remember back in the days, do you keep your options open for any other income stream? You know, all the people from Amway and Herbal Life used to approach. Mm -hmm. Now it's all about coaching. Mm -hmm. Everybody's a coach. Like, you know, you will see, like, so, sad to say that people who haven't succeeded in life many times, now they, they, they join a course and they're like, oh, I am a millionaire coach. Show me your bank account. Okay. No, no, no. I, 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 can, I can teach how to be a millionaire. Are you a millionaire? No. Then, then don't teach. Right? So you have, to, you have to know what is the longer term. That's the reason I, I keep talking about the envision the paradise three years, five years from now, 10 years from now, and then reverse engineering. Um, anybody can suddenly get rich, but very few people can stay rich for a longer period of time. Rich in terms of money, happiness, time, freedom. Um, I was just telling them just, just now, uh, inside the mastermind before the session that many people think that two important resources in life are time and money. Not for the wealthy people. For wealthy people, it's not time and money. It's energy and focus. That's the two assets that we have. Your energy level and do you have focus to stay. Most people don't have energy because they're working like a dog. and They're, they're more stressed out, more overwhelmed than ever before. So even if they have money, they can't enjoy that. So we don't want that to happen for, for people. That's the reason, Anandita, I don't say to people, even if they join a league, that within three months or six months, you'll do it. It's going to take a little time because you have to change your paradigm completely before installing the new systems. True. That's my answer. Thank you. Thank you so much. Did I confuse you? No, no, no. Absolutely clear. Very good. Very good. Okay. Who's, who has the next question? Titesh, go for it. Uh, so, Bishal, I have a very basic question. Like okay. uh, whenever I'm, you know, converse, having conversation with anyone or where, whenever I have to give my views or express my views, I feel like sometimes, I mean, most of the time I feel like I'm stuck. I'm not able to, uh, you know, express my, my views uh, or I'm not getting the, that fluence, fluent uh, uh, language and all. So, uh, so my question is, how do I improve my English fluency? How do I communicate very powerfully? and communicate my own, ex uh, uh, express my ideas in English properly. Yeah, yeah, but give me a moment. Just uh, decrease that thing, I'm feeling a little sweaty now. <clears throat> you do it enough times and it becomes easy for you. So there are two things that stops people. Number one is frequency of times that you've done something. And number two is you don't know actually what to say. You don't have the word tracks, the verbiage, right? So for example, if, if you walk into a party, I'm not talking about a party where people know you. I'm talking about a party where people don't know you. Here is how most people do. You know what they do when they walk into a party? Tell me if, you, if it sounds familiar. They walk and they do this. Do you get what I'm talking about? Because they don't have the confidence to go talk. They haven't done enough times. Or if they go, they don't know what to say. Hi, my name is this. What is your name? So it's a base, basically, they are not good conversationalist. So being a good conversationalist is a very good skill. Um, so I talk to people all the time. So if I'm going to buy some sweets for my family members, I make people laugh. Like that's one of the things. So I, I help people open up in situations where I don't need them to open up. That's one of my practices that I do that helps me get that, become that, you know, natural communicator, not me, but anybody can become a natural communicator if you do it enough time. So you go, for example, next time um, to buy grocery, for example, try this. Do you want to try this? Yeah. 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 You buy it, go to buy grocery, let's say, and you meet eye contact with somebody. It doesn't have, it can be the shop owner or somebody helping out. Just ask them this question. Where are you from? Keep looking at the eye and don't explain your question. I'm just asking, sorry. No, where are you from? Oh, here. Oh, nice. Who do you have in your family? Just, it's called form, F-O-R-M. <laughs> family, occupation, recreation, motive. Form, family, occupation, recreation, motive. So these are four questions to ask about their family, about their occupation, about their recreation and the motive, what they want, like to do and what they want to do. You do it for a few days with a few people, unknown strangers, without, you're not trying to make friends with them. You're not asking for their phone number. You're not giving your phone number. You just, you take a cab. If you don't have a driver, um, you get in and you say, where are you from? 
Okay, do you have a family? How long have you been doing it? What do you like about it? And you ask four or five questions. What it does, it, it builds your speaking muscle to talk to strangers anytime. You get it? And then when you meet a, meet a big shot, it's really easy for you. I'll tell you this thing. How many of you here from Bangalore or have you been to Bangalore? 2007 or eight, I'm walking in Brigade Road. You know, Brigade Road. Guess who shows up in front of me? Brett Lee, walking around in shorts. You know, the Australian bowler. I had zero hesitation. I went and I said, my name is Vishal. I know you're Brett Lee. How are you? And we chat for a few, few seconds, like one, one and a half minutes. First incident. Second, I'm waiting at the Bangalore airport coming, coming to my hometown at 2012 or 13. I see suddenly one guy coming, very tall, and everybody is, oh, nobody's. And the guy comes. Near me, he picks up, you know, those newspaper stands. He picks up a newspaper. Nobody's talking. Everybody's looking. So the moment I saw him, because he's one of my favorite athletes, I'll tell you who that is. I go pick up the newspaper, right? So there is a newspaper stand. He's coming. I can see everybody's moving around, making space for him. I go, nobody made space for me at that time. So I go to the same newspaper stand. He comes in and I said, Rahul, Vishal Sarkar, Rahul Rabbit. That's how we make conversation with people. You don't, you don't hesitate because I have done so many times with other people. I don't have problem talking about it. So it, it is not because of those techniques. It's not because, oh, you are Bishal. That's why you can use the technique. It's opposite. It's because of the techniques I, I am becoming who I'm becoming as an individual, as a human being in different dimensions. So Pritesh, you make out a list of places that you go every single day and just ask open-ended questions. Uh, who do you have in your family? Oh yeah, you, you got kids, how many? So simple questions like this, what it does for you, it gives you that calm, peaceful confidence over a period of time. And that's when asking questions to anybody is an easy job for you. Asking, you know, being a good conversationalist isn't easy because you've done it enough times over and over again. So that's the first thing. And the second is then you learn the conversational skills. Like what do you actually say to people? Um, how do you, you know, recognize their personality and their profiling? And that's the next level. Does that give you some, some kind of an idea I want to hear from you? Yeah, yeah, correct. Yeah, yeah, correct. So basically, uh, I need to have a ask question and engage with the, with the people. Uh, and then that will help me to build confidence whenever I, I, when, whenever I have a conversation with other, I mean, uh, any senior or any big shot. Yeah, and you're somewhere, somewhat right. But it's not that I'm just asking question. It's not being technical. It's seeing the it's individual. Yeah. Seeing, the, seeing the person as being mindful in that conversation. Um, you know, whoever you're speaking to, just being mindful. Uh, I think that is very important. That's a skill that a lot of, lot of people lack in today's world is they're very uh, technical in their conversations. They are... Um, they, can, they can be all serious and suddenly they are smiling and you, you know that you know they are smiling because it's suddenly they recognize that you are a, you are a somebody so those people are not valued they don't go to the next level because they don't have that genuine conversation with anybody at all so I think I think you have to be on stage who you are off stage I'm not hiding the fact that I'm not very well today because I'm a human and I can talk that hey guys I'm I'm a little sick I'm getting a little um, you know got a little so when you talk, people can see that heart about you and they see that connection with you and that's what they appreciate about you over a period of time. So do it enough times, you become better. And then that's when after that, you learn the word tracks, exactly what you say when somebody says, um, you know, if you sometimes you'll talk to somebody and say, you know, where do you stand? What if you, what if that person says, why? You're stuck because you didn't prepare for that. That's when you have to learn. Um, how to, how to handle situations like that. That's, that's a skill. Make sense? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Thanks. Can, can, can Thanks. Clear? Yes, yes, clear. Clear. Okay, cool. All right. Anybody else got a question? <clears throat> Otherwise, we're going to wrap up <clears throat> very, very soon. In the next couple of seconds. If anybody has a question, please feel free to ask now. Come on video or unmute and ask a question. I think uh, no more questions. Archana, you want to say something? Uh, can I ask one last question? If Vishal, like, if you are okay? Sure, sure. Uh, 
so my question was like bishal uh, about storytelling mm-hmm. so uh, suppose in uh, like i uh, i normally love to share stories whenever i have to give a speech or anything whatever i do presentations i share stories but uh, sometimes i am not able to cut short those stories in like you talk about like you know business context or the <coughs> share you the story can be three liners as well yeah and and that gives lot of visualization also to the audience so uh, i really feel sometimes stuck into that kind of scenario like how do i deliver that how do i deliver what i'm not sure how do i deliver a quick uh, story quickly yeah 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 story in that way like in in just three lines i can finish that story and you know again i connect to my original content so that story mm-hmm. i i normally take a lot of time to share stories and uh, i think then that becomes like it does not create that impact which i am thinking so like so how do uh, i do that you have to templateize things in your mind before before saying that so let me tell a quick story about that so when when i met palash for for example when he first came to me he was struggling with a lot with his confidence issues and he did not have time for himself fast forward everything till today he easily can close a 10 million dollar deal which he did pause what happened 10 second story hmm right yeah i talked talked about before so one the template i used is before fast forward after so i have it in my mind before here is the challenge he had fast forward everything today he can today do this try it right now try a before after with one of your students your clients somebody try it now okay okay uh, i i would like to share a story of uh, one of my students uh, who was uh, like who was not able to make a sentence also like in when she is to speak in english language and even able to not to able her uh, express her ideas so before when she came to me um, she was like so much of introvert though she has lot of points to sh- share but uh, she has uh, no clue like how do i get started uh, fast forward now uh, she speaks to stranger with just ease today good yeah i yeah. maybe maybe a bit more strength to at the end so so she can speak strangers today without making any mistakes and she does it with confidence so a little yeah. little longer so just you know how much you're doing with the before similar length for for the after see you just told the story in 30 seconds which is good things like this okay yeah. so there is entire storytelling methods that i'm going to teach on the last day of the of the uh, of the program also like my seven step if you remember and in the we i promised that right the storytelling method the, the dots system dots i didn't yeah. forget that so uh, that's a that's a whole different longer storytelling um in terms of uh, storytelling what a lot of people talk about it they think storytelling is about there she was in the middle of the ground the lush green grass and the mountain and the fresh breeze was hitting my face as i enjoyed my fruity with my right hand i saw at a distance a buffalo having a conversation with a lion good luck with that <clears throat> buffet no, lion never has conversation with buffalo lion eats anyways i i saw a lion having a conversation with the buffalo and i was reflecting on my life with a fruit in my hand <clears throat> life <clears throat> is so great and i'm so grateful guys i want to bullshit that's not storytelling that's story making in the, in the spot <clears throat> a lot of people do that <clears throat> storytelling is about finding those important moments in your daily life that can impart a different perspective to to somebody else that they did not think before um that's what it's about so it's finding the story is the first thing so in the dot system archana anandita pallavi d is for discover first you discover what is happening if to be a great storyteller you have to be a great great story observer story observer of things that are happening right so 
the, the reason I can easily say things in 15 seconds that are very visual is because I see it that when, when it's happening to me, right? Do you get it, Pallavi? Pritesh, are you getting what I'm talking about? I'm seeing it in that moment, what's, what's happening. Um, you know that feeling that I'm talking about, like if you have ever gone in a sleeper class or a general class in a train back in the days and, and you know, you want to you wanna go to the toilet and you, know, you can hear the da -da 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 and the sound and you are standing outside the toilet and you are, you're knocking, nobody comes out and you keep knocking, nobody comes out, you knock, nobody comes out, you keep knocking, nobody comes out and somebody comes out of the opposite side of the, of the toilet and somebody else enters before you, pause. 10 seconds, I just took you to a story. You were there with me in that bathroom, toilet in that moment, right? Few things happen is I did the sound, first of all. I touched three of your senses without your knowledge. The toilet smell. I didn't say the toilet smell. I just said in front of toilet, you get that. That sound, you got that auditory. The visual, it's called VAC. Visual, auditory, kinesthetic. I, I nailed it in 10 seconds. You can do it too. So when I take you to a scene, how do I take you to a scene? Because I observed the scene when I was there. I was present. I was mindful about it. So I'm not thinking, how do I great, get great stories? Stories are happening all day long to me, all, all the time. So when I see things like this, and, and I see it, and then later on I tell, people can relate to that, that story. Um, and by the way, that really happened to me back in the days. You know, many, many times. I remember one time I was traveling from Bangalore to West Bengal. It used to take 48 hours to, to Shiliguri, to Kolkata, about 36 hours of train journey if you take a, take a train. And I remember I, I was very financially broke at that time. I took a general class ticket. No, sorry, a sleeper class, whatever. You know, sometimes in the individual um, compartments, the plug points don't work, you know, in, in Indian railways sometimes. So I, I went, took my, I was very scared because who, you know, steal my laptop in my you know, bag and all that. But I still, still took, took my phone and my charger to near the bathroom. There is always a plug point. And I saw there are seven people in the line to charge their phone. So now pause, you can see seven people, right? Seven people in a line. Doesn't matter who are the seven people, how they look. I just told a specific point and imagine that. The, this is storytelling because I saw that. So first step in DOT system is discover stories that are happening all day long. The O in storytelling is own that story, owning. It happened to me and I own that. Bad stuff happened to me and I own that. Good stuff happened to me, and I own that. I remember on, on day one of Speakathon, you know, I shared some of the incidents that happened to, my, to me in my life, including the depression back in the days. And many times people, a lot of public speakers stole my content and they tell their stories anyways. And then later on, I think it was you, you posted, you said, you know, there is one thing, because I have good memory, you said, there is one thing to experience things like this, but there's another thing to have the courage to share exactly what you experienced, something like that, remember? Because I own that story. I have zero shame about things that happened to me including what I've been through, including the financial, um, you know, uh, being financially bankrupt, broke, not bankrupt, broke. Uh, so all, you know, including having, having a terrible breakup back in 2009, uh, who, who I thought was the dream woman of my life who left me. So when things happen, first I discover, then I own. Owning means that before I tell it to other people, you know, I feel very uh, neutral about it. So I don't have, I'm not saying it to impress people. I'm not saying it to sympathize, you know, getting sympathy from people. So, so discover, own, and then the T stands for uh, techniques. That's when the techniques of storytelling come. Most people do not discover a good story. They don't own the story. They keep talking stories like lion was there. I was having, you know, fruity in the middle of a lush green garden. So story and the S stands for then sharing that story from a place of power, from a place of power. And that's when things change for you. That's when people say, um, you know, I don't know anything about anybody else, but I want to work with you or I want to join your, your organization. So these are things, for example, one of the, one of our, you know, earlier clients, he used to work in real estate, big company. And when he first came to me, he was making good money, but he wanted not to be just a great speaker. He wanted to be, um, he wanted to tell the story of his business, not his story, his business's story, right? Without telling who, which that company is. It's already 1030. We'll wrap it up in five minutes. Okay. I have to, I'm, my, my throat is paining a bit by this time. 
uh, of speaking, you know, have a little cold. So one of the stories that we found is he was talking all about all the big villas, the big things. And I then we found out one of the stories where, you know, he sold one of the real, one of the houses, not he, his company, you know, provided a, uh, an apartment to somebody who never thought they could, they could own a home. That person has an individual name. So anytime he came to the stage, he said, guys, I can talk a lot about my real estate experience for the last 20 years and the 500 crore uh, turnover that we have every single year. This is like many years ago. Uh, I can talk all about it, but I think you will relate more to the story of Onindo. Onindo was the name of one of his people that bought real estate from, from his company. Well, when Onindo first approached us, he was very afraid to give us a call. Why? Because we looked very expensive. And of course, the things that we do are very expensive and premium. But one of his dreams was to have a dream house. You see, at that time, he was staying in a rented house for many years in Bangalore. And he did not know how to ever have that dream house. And guys, I just want to say that with all the courage, you know, Anindo called us. And in fact, he came to meet with us. And at that time, I was in the office and I had a conversation with Anindo. And I could see Anindo in his blue shirt. And he was, he was shaking a bit. Why? Because he felt maybe we are too big for him. Maybe we are too big for a dreamer like him who, who wanted to own a house. I had a conversation with Anindo. I, I was not just an owner. I, I comforted him. I gave him confidence, comfort, and, con and, and some confirmation. I answered his questions. And I got to know exactly the kind of home that he wanted. It became less about what, the, what, the, what kind of home we wanted to do. My, my team member could sell him. But it became more about me being a problem finder, a dream finder, and a dream provider. Fast forward everything. We found the things. And guys, here is a photo. And then he puts it on the screen. Here's the photo of Anindo having tea with his wife in exactly his dream house right now of one of, in one of our real estate plots. The reason I share this is because we have made millions and millions and millions of dollars. But my dream is to find more Anindos in this room. My question is not about, do you have crores of rupees to buy a house? My question is, who that person is in your life, just like Onindo, that wife, that coffee, that conversation, that daughter playing on the floor as you look outside the window, feeling, I made it. If you have a dream like that, I'll be in the back of the room. I'll be happy to schedule a consultation with you. Nothing. You just come into our office. We get to know your dream. We get to know exactly your dream house. There is no deposit to do that. I want to get to know exactly the kind of dream house you have. If you have a dream like Onindo, if you have a, if you have a desire like Onindo, and if you want to be happiness, just like you can see on the screen with Onindo, I'd love to have a conversation with you. Go to the back of the room and schedule a conversation with me. Pause out there. That's how you tell a business story. And he did that. And he had hundreds and hundreds of people scheduling conversations with their team. And very soon, because now he was not selling a real estate. He was telling the story of one of his customers, Onindo. And as I speak to you, how many of you here, uh, I know many of you are not on video, can, could visualize what I was talking about on Indo and him being scared and him having the dream house. It took me three minutes, not 15 minutes, just so you know. You just experience what you experienced in three minutes. That's how you tell a business story. So it's about picking out one person and being specific about it. So discover Anindita, right? Pallavi, own that story. Then learn the techniques of that story. And then sell the story. Question, Archana, how did Anindo look to you in that story? What was his visual? Like from the first, as you described. Yeah. Yeah. So like you gave a lot of specific things about him that he was uh, not comfortable. He had no courage. Uh, like initially he was not confident. He was wearing a blue shirt. Uh, he was Do you remember that? You get it? Yeah, shaking the shoulders. Uh, and he was thinking that, am I in the right place? Or this, are these people really big for me? Or uh, will I be able to, you know, get my dream house? All these things I could visualize. And then at the end, I could see him, you know, having that cup of coffee with a lot of pride in his eyes, along with his wife, playing daughter around and thinking to himself that, yes, I have done it and I'm proud of myself.
Mm. You get it in three minutes. This is what I helped that that one-on-one -on -one coaching client uh, with uh, in back in the days in real estate. So this is how you take. So instead of saying I have many people, I know you teach uh, you know communication too. Instead of instead of saying one people, pick out a name. Mm. What what's the name of the person you spoke spoke about who couldn't speak much? Uh, her name is Rutuja. Yeah, not the worker, right? Not that health expert Rutuja the worker. <laughs> no. Or, okay. She is the worker. Divekar, okay. So what what is that? So Rutuja, what does Rutuja do? She is a postgraduate MCA. Okay, so she does not work yet. Uh, no, she doesn't work yet. How did she come to know about you? Uh, like uh, she is from my uh, like from a neighborhood only. She got to know about me. Okay. Did she call you or meet you face to face? No, she met me face to face. At your home? Yes, at my home. And uh, the what, 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 hold on, hold on. What was she wearing when she came to you for the first time? Uh, she was wearing a black kurta. Mm -hmm. She uh, is, she has long hair, short hair? Long hairs. Okay. She smiles a lot. She doesn't smile much? Uh, she smiles, yeah. Okay. She's married. She's single? Single. Okay. Um, and what was the problem that she came to you with? Uh, like she cannot speak or express herself well. Can't speak or express, can't speak or express. And how was that impacting her? Uh, like a lot of times because uh, whenever uh, she has to, uh, you know, express her views on any uh, specific points, uh, she was not able to do that. And because of that, she was uh, losing so many opportunities, like in her college days also, and all as well as in her home, like in her personal life as well. Means okay. people were not taking her seriously. <clears throat> people were not taking her seriously. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and um, you coached her for how long? For four months. One on one? Yes. How often? Every week. Like, no, every every day. Daily, okay. Daily, yeah. Wow, that's a lot of time. Anyways, so four, four months daily. Uh, and uh, what was the... So after four months, so she, she's out of your program already? Yes, she's out of my program now. Top three results she got? Top three results she got from you? Uh, yeah, number one thing is that uh, she has, uh, you know, increased her uh, self-love for herself because that was really missing in her. Uh, number two, now she can express very confidently uh, because that day, even in my one of my speeches, I shared that uh, uh, when a okay. guy Keep came on. to see okay. her, yeah, when a groom came to see her, like a future uh, guy in a formal setting, so she was uh, like, they were not uh, completely thinking that she would be able to speak in English. That guy was also uh, was really surprised to see her speaking so fluently and flawlessly without making any mistake, grammatically correct sentences in English and was expressing herself superbly. Like, you know, like in a village kind of thing, a girl expressing her ideas about a marriage to somebody stranger in front of all those uh, senior people who already have some kind of notions about, you know, uh, girls coming from village. So she was like outstanding in her performance that day. And personally, I got a message. I got a call from her mother herself that you have changed her life. Mm. What was the third result? So one is self-love, self express confidently. And? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, third is like... Uh, Yeah, third, like she practices even today. That is not a result. That's a practice. What, anything else that she improved on the end result? If no, then no. Yeah, uh, like see, suppose like initially she is not able to, uh, <coughs> I share a story. So even I also told her to start sharing her experiences. So now she can tell a story. Nice. And you're also learning storytelling. That's good. Good. Okay. Um, so I become uh, Archana for a second and I tell the story of Rituja. You ready? Yeah. Okay, so um, it's a nine-step framework. I don't have time to talk about the framework. Now we'll quickly tell you how it works. Um, so 
Hi guys, my name is Archana and today I'd like to talk about one of my clients. Her name is uh, Rituja. Rituja is a good girl. I still remember when she first came to me uh, in her black kurta. She was having a long hair with a smiley face. She came to me into my home and she was telling me about her problems. She was telling me that she can't speak very well. Tell me if you can relate to that. She was telling me that she was losing opportunities and she was not able to become fluent. She was getting stuck many times. She had a lot of ideas in her head, but she did not know how to communicate and articulate properly. And um, it was not just that. I mean, because of the problems, the real impact, the consequence of that problem was that she was losing opportunities in her career because she was already an MCA. She was not able to crack the interviews and she was not being taken seriously. As a matter of fact, she was also ha having that fear of meeting, you know, future, her future, you know, life partner. She did not have that confidence at all. And uh, Rituja did not almost enroll in our program because she thought that a girl like me in a village can never be confident. And guys, I know, maybe you think that way. Maybe you think sometimes that, who are you to be a confident speaker? Who are you to transform your communication skills? And she was really struggling with that. But I told her, I remember I telling her that, Rituja, if you give me four months, I'll transform you into a great speaker. On that day, she enrolled. I coached her for four months and I trained her on her mindset. I trained her on her confidence level. And I trained her on exactly what to do. And Rituja was an action taker. She did not just absorb the information. She did not just come to me hearing about other people, not asking a question. She was really, she all, always had a question about what, you know, Archana, how do I do this? Archana, how do I do that? And fast forward everything four months from now, the results that she got is astonishing. Number one, she has increased her self-love. The girl who could not have great self-respect for herself every single day respects herself right now and loves herself. Number two, right now she can express very confidently anything that she has in her mind. She says it with confidence, compassion, and clarity. And number three, recently a guy came, you know, a guy's family to came to see her and she did not speak just like a normal village girl. She spoke with confidence and she spoke with charisma and she spoke with such clarity that everybody was astonished by her fluency level. And I remember at the end of the night, I got a call from an unknown number. I picked up the phone and it was Rituja's mother. Rituja's mother. And Rituja's mother told me, Archana, I'm Rituja's mother. And she told me, thank you for changing my daughter's life forever. And as a result of that, not only she changed her communication, she's now started to become a greater storyteller. She tells stories powerfully. She shares her experiences. And guess what? I know for the next six months, one year, two years, five years, she'll make a lot of friends. She will meet her soulmate. And not just that, she will have the dream career in her, her life. How much longer do you want to wait before you get results like Rituja? My name is Archana. And for the last one year, two years, three years, I've been coaching people like her to give them the confidence. If you want me to personally turn yourself around, if you want me to help you with your confidence, with your communication, and with your creative, powerful speaking skills, give me a call. 888-888-888. I'll be happy to have a conversation with you. And guess what? You don't have to wear a black kurta, and you don't have to have a long hair, and you don't have to walk into my room to have a conversation with me. You can give me a call. I can get to know exactly what you're looking for. And if I feel that you are the right kind of person that I can train. If I feel that I have the right solution for you, I'll be happy to transform your life too. Rituja changed her life. When will you? My name is Archana, always reminding you, blah, 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 blah. Boom, three and a half minutes. That's how you do it. Discover, yeah. own the techniques, share. And you can do it even if you have fear, if you know the right way to do it. Yes. Helpful? And Mama, I think we should wrap up the call now. Um, I, I need to take some rest. So, all right. Um, Thank you, Vishal. You're very welcome. Uh, see all of you next Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. So I know, Anandita, you have your birthday, but I know you're going to show up. We're going we're gonna to have that conversation on the phone call too. I know I see you scheduled a call um, about joining unique i'm not sure. we're gonna see that so i'm talking to pallavi on on monday 8 45 pm anindita right after that at 9 15 pm okay um awesome 
it's going to be great. I just had a conversation with Subish and Shweta. Amazing. They are like very, they, they have shared with me the goals and everything. It's, it's going to be awesome. All right. That's all I got. Let's wrap up the call. Take care of yourself. Um, keep practicing, but not like randomly. Get so so everything I said, Archana had had a nine nine step framework. Oh, Vishal was following a framework. Yes, I was. Step one is introduction about the character. I told who's Rituja. How did she look? Right. Do I, can I just go for like 45 seconds quickly? You run through the play, template and go. Is yes, that okay? 45 seconds. So intro about the character, then the struggle, then the impact, then the character's main problem. Then they're following the framework. Uh, number six is how you coach them. Number seven is the action that they took. Number eight, the results they got. Number nine is the tangible experience. And that's pretty much it. So these are the nine steps I just walked through in three minutes. So anything, anything has a framework and you can do it too. That's all I got. Take care, guys. See you soon. Anupama, back to you. Bye. Good night. Thank you, everyone, for joining. The details of the next session will definitely get inside. We will see you inside the WhatsApp group. Speakers on Implementation Bootcamp. Bye-bye. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Good night. Bye-bye. Bye, everybody. Bye, everyone. Bye, everyone. Bye, Bye, bye Anupama ma'am.